How you doing, everybody? Webisode number eight. Webisode number eight tonight. Um, we'll be in the studio tonight with a very special guest. Uh, you read on our Facebook page, we have somebody coming in doing some guest vocals on a tune tonight. Uh, we're gonna have that. We're gonna show you a little bit of a new tune. And just want to address, uh, some people talk about new music, they want to hear music, want to hear music. Just want to clarify that what you've been seeing so far and everything that's been going on musically has just been demos. Uh, basically, Jason and I are still in the process of writing the record. These are not finished final vocals, they're not final guitars, final bass. We're still, you know, we're still using session drums. We haven't gotten um, around to auditioning bass players and drummers. That's going to happen. Uh, uh, very shortly. So we're still in the writing process. So everything you hear is very scratch, just kind of rough shell of the songs, get the idea, get the vibe, get the energy flowing again um, for writing new Slaves on Dope music, which is essentially what we're doing. We'll be getting some, um, be getting, getting to more more technical stuff as the, as the webisodes go along once we get into the recording process. But for now, just everybody realize this is just demos that we're actually doing. Um, so yeah, like I said, we have a guest tonight coming in to record some vocals on a song. Um, very interesting song, really cool tune, something where Jason and I are really proud of writing. And uh, there's only one person uh, we thought of doing this part. Uh, she's a killer singer. She's in a fucking amazing band. I know most of you probably heard them and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. So we'll go into the studio, we'll do some of that and uh, we'll see you later on. What's up guys, Jason from Slaves on Dope. So we are going to reveal to you our special guest that's going to be on the album, Miss Elisa from The Agonist. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Applause. If there was people here, they'd all be fucking clapping. No, I'm, I'm seeing them, yeah. Elisa is um, in the coolest fucking band ever, um, and I heard her band and I was like, dude, this is the only person that can do this song. Um, basically the song, that I wrote is about a guy and a girl that are completely at fucking odds with each other and I needed someone with character, I needed someone with um, with integrity and there's nobody in metal right now that has more integrity than Elisa, so yeah, no problem. <laughs> and she's also got really cool blue hair and I have none so I'm very jealous. <laughs> um, so I sent you the song, did you like it? Yeah, it was really cool actually. I. I can see, I can see where you're going with it, and uh, I think it's going to be fun to um, to get it all out in the song because I can, I can definitely picture doing um, different different sort of techniques and really putting some emphasis into certain parts. Of yeah. it. Because of the, the subject matter of the song, yes, absolutely. I think it's going to be a lot of fun to do it and to get it get it on there. And I think I think it's going to come out and sound really awesome. And when you were telling me when you did lyrics for your record, like you you did it old school, right? Like you guys didn't do any auto tune, you just did like yeah. you laid it down. Right? Yeah, I mean when we luckily, you know, luckily our producer is really, really patient. Mm. Um, like Chris Donaldson, but I mean we you know when I go in there to record vocals, I I'm really old school about it. Like I have my keyboard that I use just to, you know, figure out my harmonies or my notes or whatever. Right. And I just, you know, I, I place myself in the song and I just I do it and if you know, and if there's even some, if there's, I don't like the way I pronounced the word, or I didn't like my attack, or, you know, I'm a little flat or a little sharper, I do the whole line again, you know, I don't, I'm not about to, to go nitpicking too much, but I really, I make sure that I'm really happy with every part of it, every aspect of my lines, before, you know, I call the song complete, and, and I really, I just hate the sound of auto-tune, like, you can hear it on anything, even yeah. if it's subtle, you can hear it, so we don't auto-tune anything, we just, you know, really, you know, make sure that I spend enough time thinking about how I want to perform the lyrics before before going in so that it's, 
you know, comes up sounding acceptable to me. Yeah, and there's too many fucking bands out there right now that just use auto tune and it's like disgusting. Oh, it sounds horrible. You guys all know who you are out there in auto tune. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think what we should do is probably get in there and, and hear Miss Elisa sing. What do you guys think? Yeah. Let's do this. Hear the lyrics. Awesome. Follow me. Mr. I'm going to take the camera from Mr. Jardine. I prefer. All right, so we will go into the vocal booth. So the cans are there. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed webisode number eight. Stick around next week, webisode number nine. Kevin and I said a while back that when we hit our 1,000th Facebook friend, we would reveal the title of the record. So next week we'll be telling you what the title of the album is, some more new music, possibly a couple more cameos, special guests. It's always fun on Slaves on Dope webisodes. And don't forget, webisode number 10, we will be having a ooh, ooh, raise the roof party in the studio. Late!